Welcome. Today we'll discover set theory, diving deep into its foundation, understanding sets, operations, and their real-world applications in computer science. Let's begin. Set theory, as the name suggests, is all about sets, collections of distinct objects. For instance, we can represent a set of three unique numbers as one, two, three, using curly braces. This concept, simple yet central, offers a structured foundation for organizing information in mathematics and computer science. Further, it's an indispensable part of your navigation toolkit as you advance deeper into mathematical and computational theories. The history of set theory is an intriguing journey. It has played a key role in the development of modern mathematical disciplines. Understanding and exploring these sets is not just an abstract pursuit, but a crucial stepping stone in your mathematical journey. A set is a distinct collection of entities, such as apple, banana, cherry. Ordering does not matter and duplication is not allowed. Each individual item exists only once. This illustrates the concept of set membership, which is communicated using element of or not an element of. For example, banana is an element of apple, banana, cherry, represents that banana belongs to this fruit set. Special curly braces encapsulate the elements, indicating the lack of any particular order. Contrasting this, multisets, often referred to as lists, permit repetition, differentiating them from sets. For instance, apple, apple, banana is a multiset, but not a set due to more than one apple component. This underscores the principle of unique set members, underscoring the individuality of each item. The key to mastering set theory is to understand the types of sets. Firstly, we have the empty set, represented as the symbol nothing. An empty set is a set that contains no elements at all. Secondly, we come to finite sets. These sets contain a countable number of distinct elements. For instance, the set consisting of 1, 2, 3 is a finite set, as it only includes three different elements. Lastly, infinite sets are those which do not have any bounds and contain infinite elements. A set of natural numbers represented as n equals 1, 2, 3, and so on is an example of an infinite set. Applying our knowledge to Python, we can create sets with the set function. This function transforms lists into sets and automatically removes any duplicates, like set, followed by 1, 2, 2, 3, which produces a set of 1, 2, 3. You can also add elements with your set add element, or remove them using your set dot remove element. Let's consider an example. We convert a list with duplicates, say, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, into a set with unique numbers, a set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Later, adding the number 6 changes our set to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Subsets, an integral concept in set theory, are sets whose elements all belong to another larger set. The prime example here is the set containing 1 and 2, encompassing all elements of the larger set containing 1, 2, and 3. A fascinating aspect of sets is the empty set, symbolized as an enclosed empty space, considered a subset of all sets. Why? Because every element it could possibly contain, none in fact, exists within all conceivable sets. Now let's turn to supersets, sets that include every element of another set. In our case, the set of 1, 2, 3 is a superset of the set containing 2, both expressions, the set of 1, 2, 3, is a superset of the set containing 2, and the set of 1, 2, 3, is a superset equals to the set containing 2, convey that the set of 1, 2, 3, is a superset of the set containing 2, showcasing how notation captures this relationship. Let's delve into power sets, a concept which encapsulates all possible subsets of a given set. Using our example set A equals 1, 2, the power set, denoted as PA, includes the empty set, subsets with a single element, and the set itself, resulting in PA equals empty set 1, 2, 1, 2. Thus, the power set showcases the mechanism of subset formation. To compute PA, we first include the empty set, then the individual elements, 1, 2, and finally the full set, 1, 2. All these subsets combined give the power set PA equals empty set 1, 2, 1, 2. By determining power sets, we gain a deeper understanding of the structure of sets and their possible combinations. Operations in set theory allow us to manipulate and analyze relationships within sets. One such fundamental operation is the union, denoted by a union B, 
which combines all elements of sets A and B. For instance, if A equals 1, 2, and B equals 2, 3, the union would be 1, 2, 3, which contains all elements from both sets. Moving on to intersection, A intersection B, it selects elements common to both sets. With sets A and B as defined earlier, the intersection yields 2, the common element. The difference operation, a minus B, provides elements in A that aren't in B, and when applied to those sets, we get 1. Lastly, the symmetric difference operation lets us obtain unique elements to each set. So a symmetric difference B gives us 1, 3. By understanding how these operations work and when to use each, we'll be able to effectively analyze relationships between sets. Venn diagrams play a pivotal role in visually representing set relations and operations, such as union and intersection. For example, the union of sets, spoken as a union B, and the intersection, spoken as a intersect B, are readily illustrated through overlapping circles in a Venn diagram. This depiction simplifies understanding and offers a tangible interpretation of abstract set operations. Let's go deeper into the concept of subsets. In a Venn diagram, a subset is represented by a circle entirely enclosed within another. This visual aid clarifies the relationships and hierarchy within sets, thus facilitating comprehension of more complex set theory concepts. From visualization, we transition to symbolic representation of sets using set builder notation. This mathematical expression takes the form of x such that property of x. An example is x in the set of natural numbers such that x less than 4, which translates to the set 1, 2, 3. Another example, x such that x is even, represents all even numbers. This notation is a concise method to specify sets based on the properties of their elements. Cartesian products paint a clear picture of the relationships between sets. Fundamentally, it forms ordered pairs from constituents of two sets. The concept is best understood with an applied example. Let's take two sets A and B. A is 1, 2, while B is 3, 4. Performing a Cartesian product on these generates a set of pairs, where the first component hails from set A and the second from B. Thus, we obtain a times B is equal to 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4. Notice the operation is non-commutative. A times b isn't equal to b times a. Its importance isn't purely theoretical. Cartesian products are integral in database queries, forming possible combinations to peruse. Consider a is equal to 1 and b is equal to ab. We get a times b is equal to 1a, 1b, exemplifying its utility. Set theory holds pragmatic applications in computer science and particularly in Python. Python's built-in set data type provides for unique data filtering, showcasing the direct application of set theory concepts. Meanwhile, functional programming and set theory are intertwined at the core. Both emphasize immutability and the application of pure functions, much like set operations. Data and operations in functional programming are akin to sets and functions. Consider an example of set A, which contains elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. A function fx equals x squared applied to each element of our set gives us another set, 1, 4, 9, 16. This illustrates how a function serves as a mechanism to transform one set into another, cementing the significance of set theory principles in programming. Hence, understanding these principles can improve both code readability and ease of data transformation in functional programming. Set theory, we've discovered, offers an organized approach for handling collections of unique elements, such as the simplistic set of 1, 2, 3. Concepts like union, intersection, difference, and the Cartesian product transform how we perceive sets and their interactions. Particularly intriguing is the power set, a manifestation of possible subsets. Python's built-in set data type and the core of functional programming owe their existence to set theory. Visual aids such as Venn diagrams demystify the concepts further, serving to illustrate complex relationships among sets effortlessly. In the world of computer science, set theory proves its relevance. From structuring data to designing efficient algorithms, the influence of set theories is ubiquitous. The concepts explored in these lectures, such as subsets and supersets, the understanding of set operations like union, intersection, difference, and the use of Venn diagrams all contribute to a comprehensive knowledge of set theory.